but it's no big deal to come out here for five minutes, grab that, put them in the bottom of the fridge, and you've got, uh, you know, nice, fresh, you can actually smell, even when I'm pulling them out of the ground, you can smell uh, that carrot smell, right? The fresh carrot smell. And it tastes really good. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com, and I'm out here getting some carrots. Uh, right up until uh, around this time yesterday, there was no snow on the ground at all. It didn't really look very Canada-ish, but today it looks very Canada-ish today. We got lots of snow yesterday and uh, everything's covered in snow. And if you ever wonder, sometimes you see pictures in my garden, I've got a broom in my garden. Why do I have a broom in my garden? Well, <laughs> it's to deal with uh, these, these domes. Uh, I should have come out a bit earlier. We were out shoveling the driveway earlier today. Uh, and I should have come out in the garden and, and hit these. It's good. The sun's been up for a little bit. It's not, it's not very shiny sun, but there is some sun. And uh, yeah, it's just one more, I mean, <coughs> one more good reason to, to only have a couple, a couple of these domes out during the winter is that I don't have to do as much of this. I've only got two dom domes out this year. One's carrots, one parsnips. I, I still have, I have a half, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but like a little, uh, it's like the lid off a cold frame. Uh, that's parsnips as well. Anyway, that's not too big a deal. Every time it snows, you gotta come out and do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. The, the garden will generate, you know, you don't have to have it perfectly clear. The heat that's in there will be enough to just melt the rest off and get rid of this thing. Yeah, I've never really taken you guys through the process uh, I use for this, so I thought this was a good opportunity to do that. Really not that sophisticated. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Tried this year using these wedges to uh, hold the, uh, the dome in place. And uh, I find it easier than having to deal with tying you know, like it's, it's windy where I live, and if you don't do something to secure them, they just pick up and blow away in really big storms. Um, but the problem with these wedges is that they, uh, they compromise the plastic that the, the garden bed's made of. So they shorten the lifespan of it. There we go, let's see what we got here. So the way, that's good. Sometimes you open this up and there's a, a vole or a mole running away. That's never good. Uh, so the way you make this easy on yourself is you've always got something you kick it around to prop it up. And you got a digging tool ready to go. Actually, this is uh, oh, it's frozen a little bit. There's about an inch of frost in here. Now it's it's early in the day, so the, the you know that'll melt. So I mean, the, uh, the there's two different approaches to doing this sort of thing. You can cover the whole thing with big bales of hay, and that'll just keep it from freezing. Um, when you use this technique with the dome, it, it doesn't keep it from freezing. It keeps it from freezing deeply. It, every single night it freezes. Every single day it thaws. I, you know, if there's sun, right? <laughs> so that's the general. And it just doesn't freeze that much. It, it's, it continues to be workable, which is where I am right now. Let's get a better camera angle here. So my general technique is to try to try to work away from you know everything that's growing near the edge. Try to get all that stuff out first. So I mean, I when I harvested these in the fall, I took everything from the, the outer about six inches. I think I got most of that. Here's one. Um, but then I continue. Continue with that process, continuing to get stuff that's close to the edge. I don't normally need to use this digging tool in here, but um, today, uh, just because it's, it was double-digit cold overnight, so we got a bit, of, a bit of a freeze here. But not so much that I can't get in. I just broke, broke that carrot. Another tip for using this technique is you know, when I, you know, it's, it's a bit of a, a bit of a chore to have to come out here in the cold and deal with everything. So when I come out, I tend to take, uh, you know, uh, a respectable amount, amount with me. 
You know, I don't just take enough for one meal. I take enough for like the week, you know. Uh, we use these in soup, stir fry. We like roasting them, right? So I take a, a good amount um, so that the, the effort isn't, you know, the effort of taking the lid off and, you know, just getting, getting down, <laughs> getting down and into it, right? Just all of that isn't, isn't for nothing or is not, uh, you're making the most of the effort, right? Now all I do, I don't really clean these any more than I'm doing right here with my gloves, right? I just, you know, that's the other thing. You got to move uh, pretty quick because your gloves uh, get damp and it's, you know, well below zero. And uh, but that's all I really do to clean them at this stage. And I just fire them in the uh, bottom drawer of the refrigerator, um, just like this, just dirty like this. I have newspaper on the on the, you know, in it. I'm gonna clean it every once in a while. I just find they store better when they're when they're dirty. <laughs> they, they they like the dirt. Little tip here: how I put the carrots in the fridge and still manage to keep things clean, and I think this also keeps them fresher as well. Uh, what I do is I take a piece of newspaper and uh, I'll you know like double up sort of thing, but I'll I'll put an amount of carrots that I think will fold up nicely in it, and uh, dirt and all, right? And uh, yeah, I just fold it over and roll it up. <laughs> and they, they keep really well like that. I think from the carrots point of view, they still think they're underground. They've got humidity. They're all sort of closed up. There's some dirt in there, whatever. Uh, they, they stay pretty fresh like that for, you know, let's say I got maybe two weeks of carrots uh, in the fridge, maybe less. It really depends on how much we eat this Sunday. But anyway, that way everything stays clean. You just throw the newspaper in the compost uh, and wash them up. Um, so uh, that's, that's what I do. But yeah, I'll fill this bowl, right? My goodness, there's a fly. Uh, probably as a fly, fly fisherman, I would, I would call that a stone fly. But yeah, a fly, just a small little, see if I can get him moving again. Uh, he's gone. Anyway, so <laughs> it's warm enough here that there are certain flies that, uh, uh, you, you will see in the woods, even in sunny, or even in the, the depth of winter, sometimes if, if you get a, a sunny day. My goodness, this is, this is pretty f frozen over here. This is not a good situation. This spot over here was, I don't, I don't think I harvested far enough, far enough out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can get down to where it's not, not frozen, that's good. I'll take a bunch of those. Now these are growing in pretty tight to one another, but I'm still getting, uh, you know, reasonably good uh, size. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe a couple more, since it's so icy over there. What I like to do too is, you know, once I've done my harvesting, uh, you know, whatever part of the, the um, carrots are exposed, I don't know if you can see that here, but you know, I'll, I'll take some of the surplus dirt and, or the soil and, and move it so that it's, it's covered a bit. Don't leave them completely exposed. That's pretty good. Oh. All right, so yeah, everything's in here that I need to get at the carrots. I got the stick to prop it up and I got the little digging tool just sitting there. It's probably better to have it sitting up like that, it's not in the soil. That's it. Just pop it back and put the wedges back in and you're done. This time of year, these wedges aren't quite as important because it, you know, it tends to, uh, Tends to freeze in place, but you never know when you're going to get a big, weird weather front coming in off the ocean. Anyway, that's the way we do it here. <laughs> so yeah, when I'm you know coming out to get stuff, whether it's the carrots or the parsnips, or my uh, sunchokes, which are also in a similar sort of situation, I keep them out in the ground uh, during the winter. Um, you know, I take a good amount, so I don't have to do it. You wouldn't want to have to do it every day of the week. That's a bit inconvenient. But it's no big deal to come out here for five minutes, grab that, put them in the bottom of the fridge, 
and you've got, uh, you know, nice, fresh, you can actually smell, even when I'm pulling them out of the ground, you can smell uh, that carrot smell, right? The fresh carrot smell. And they taste really good and really sweet uh, because they, they love the cold, right? So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you the, the process, what it's, what it's like. For those of you that haven't tried this system, where you've got the, you know, the, uh, the hoop house, a low tunnel, whatever you want to call this thing, you've got the hoop the dome or whatever over the garden all winter long. It's not a big deal to come out and do a bit of harvesting. You do have to, you know, sweep the snow off every time there's a good, a good snow. But uh, uh, it's, you know, it's, I guess it's just a matter of what you consider to be too much effort. Um, so it is more convenient to have all of these sort of stored in a cold room. Um, but then they don't, you don't get the pleasure of the carrots being fresh. These are fresh carrots. I, mean, I could use these in a salad. I could, I could use these for anything you'd want a fresh carrot for. There is nothing I can buy that comes as a, the slightest bit close to the freshness of this in, in this country <laughs> right now, right? Any carrot I buy at a grocery store has been stored in some way. These are fresh. Uh, it's just wonderful to have it. Uh, nice to have something fresh from the garden in the dead of winter. And uh, of course, these carrots will all be pulled out of here by sometime in February probably. And uh, this garden will start thawing. And uh, I will be able to, late February, early March, you know, depending on the year, I mean, but uh, maybe plant some spinach or something in here because th these beds will be thawed before anything else because they will never have frozen that much, right? They just freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. And you can plant things like lettuce and spinach, which can handle being frozen and thawed uh, even when they're really tiny. They're really tough plants under a dome, of course, right? So in, event, in, in addition to getting you know, an easy way to store your carrots and have them fresh all winter long. You got uh, a garden that's ready to rock in the spring. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.